All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, I didn't post this morning because mostly I wanted to make a video after today and what's going on in the market. But the triple Qs is breaking around around 483, 484, and then bouncing around 495 in this little zone right here. So we're going to go over that and talk about what's going on in the market because really, if you really want to get a reading on what's going on, you really have to look at the Mega 7. So let's look at the Mega 7 real quick and let's get into this. And guys, if you have it, we are knocking it out. Guys, if you guys want to come join this, literally, it's that easy. I mean, we were hitting it left and right all last week. So if you want to come in and join the membership, we are doing half price on membership right now. So if you want to come in and join us, the link is in the description or in the comments of the video. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you guys have been watching the channel for a long time, leave a like, that helps out a ton. And if you haven't, sub the channel. And then also, if you are struggling as a trader, come to the Discord. Guys, literally, membership is so cheap right now just to learn the basic of trading. It literally is nothing compared to what you'll probably lose in the long run trying to learn this by yourself. So if you want somebody that has like 12 years of trading experience, come in the Discord. We can talk about it one-on-one. -on -one. Now, guys, there's a lot of things going on in the market. A lot of people are confused just because the indexes are going up doesn't mean the market's going up. Really what you wanna look at is the backbone of the market, you know, the Mega 7, which is around 52% of the market. So let's actually go over the Mega 7 real quick on the indexes really quick and see what's going on. Um, let's start off with Amazon. Amazon is 5.3% of the triple Qs. We actually did have a nice rejection today. Um, it, it has just been trading sideways since around the 23rd, 20th of this month. So really it's just building the top like the market. We did have a little bit of breakout, but the bulls uh, didn't really hold it up. The bears came back in. Now it's floating at the top of the channel. So if Amazon does reject, definitely pay attention to around 183. And then also the uh, 50 moving average around 178. And then the lower levels down here. Actually, I'm going to do this because honestly, it'd give a, a bigger picture on techni you know, being technical. So let's actually change the colors. This is gonna be the triple Qs. So let's actually bring up the triple Qs with it so you can see the kind of level um, where it's gonna go. So the white's gonna be the triple Qs. Um, if you don't know, um, definitely look on the side right here. This is gonna be the price range of the triple Qs. So if Amazon actually does have a rejection from this top right here, let's say if it does run down to the 20 moving average, you are looking around 172 on triple Qs. If this does reject to the lower levels, then you are looking around a 462 on Amazon. And if it actually does hit 462 on any of these, that's actually going to be main support. So let's actually pull this up. So if we actually do drop down to the around, you know, support, uh, it's around 452. So if I say 452 on the triple Qs, that's going to be support on the triple Qs. And that's probably where we'll stop. Honestly, I don't think we're just going to crash past that anytime soon. So um, on Amazon, just pay attention. If we do make it down to the 50 moving average, um, you are looking at around to oh around four around 429 if you hit the 50 moon average which is probably going to be a little bit harder than most things going on in the market right now um let's actually pull up meta meta is actually having a little bit of a run um let's actually pull this off and we'll just run off the triple q's on the side right here on the money so um if meta does actually have a rejection let's pull up this um just remember meta is actually only 4.6 percent of the market so um, just because Meta is pushing doesn't mean that it has enough power to keep pushing. The ones that you really want to worry about is Microsoft, Apple, and NVDA, which I'm going to go over those in a second. But if um, Meta does actually have a rejection to around the 20 moving average or the 50, just because it's at the top of the channel. So it's right now, it's been battling. It's been battling since the 20th of this month, the 20th of last week. So just be very careful. If you do push down to the 50 moving average, you are looking around a 458, 456. Um, that's going to be on your triple Q's and that's probably what we'll hold. We'll probably hold in this little pocket longer because honestly, I don't think the market's going to give out anytime soon. So, and then also on AMD, AMD is also at the top of the channel. So pay attention to how, how all these companies are at the top of the channel. All these indexes are at the top of the channel. If they get their rejection, they're all going to do it at the exact same time. So if we actually do reject right here, um, definitely pay attention to the 20 moving average. AMD hasn't really been going with the triple Q, so I wouldn't definitely, I wouldn't really look at the, the price range of the triple Qs, um, but it does move a little bit with it. So just throwing that out there. So if you actually overlap this with the triple Qs, 
if the triple Q's does go to around 460 something, that's probably going to be your 20 minimum average on AMD. So just throwing that out there if you're trading it. Um, if they all, if all these companies reject, pay attention to around 146. If we do hit that, um, that's probably going to be your stopping point on AMD. Um, if we do make it down to the lower levels of around 115, that's probably because a really healthy drop came in the market, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So just throwing that out. Um, Tesla is doing a false breakout. Um, let's actually bring up the bigger chart for Tesla because there's actually two channels that you really need to pay attention to. So let's actually pull up this four hour channel right here. Um, if Tesla did break out, but it has two resistance on this right here. And by the way, Tesla's like 5.5% of the market. So I don't really have it up, but yeah, we did reject off this top of the channel. It's been in this channel for so long, all the way back from June 14th. So if we actually do have a rejection right here on this, if say if the triple Q's does go down to the lower levels around 460, you're probably going to look around 222 on Tesla. And if we go lower than 456, 460 on the triple Q's, you'll probably hit the lower levels of this area around 186 or something like that. Really just depends on how bad the rejection is on you know the market and stuff like that. Um, let's talk the big about the big bad boys, right? Because Apple is 8.4% of the market. So Apple or Apple, Microsoft and NVDA are pretty much is what's going to control this drop. Um, this little slow uptick doesn't mean we're going higher in the market. So just throwing that out there. Um, all of these bigger companies are going to reject from this channel. It's common sense. We've been I've had this conversation for months now floating at this top right here. And apparently people still don't get it. They still think we're going to go higher in the market to go higher in the market. You're going to need Apple and all of them to break this bigger channel that they've been going in. You're going to need Apple and all of them to completely push. That's the only way we're going higher in the market. Just because we slowly uptake $5 in the triple Q's doesn't mean we're going higher. That's 1%, literally 1%. So if the NAS goes up 1% in the day, like we did earlier today, the triple Q's is going to go 1% up. The SP 500 is going to go 1% up all together. They all run together. So you got to remember what's in these indexes, the NAS, the triple Q's, the, you know, spy, that's the mega seven. If the mega seven are hitting the top of these channels like this, and if they all start to reject, you're going to go lower in the market just because we go 1% higher in the triple Q's that doesn't mean anything. So just throwing that out there. If you think just because we go higher just a little bit doesn't mean it's going to be a bull run until November. There really hasn't been any signs. Apple has literally been floating in this channel all the way back from June 14th. So just throwing that out there. If you're one of those guys that are praying for a big, huge rally again, um, that's just straight gambling. Try not to predict, try to use your charts and then your price action and stuff like that. Uh, and especially moving averages, use your 20 and 50 minute average. But if Apple does reject from this top again for the third time, um, definitely pay attention to the lower levels of this 20 moving average. Um, that's going to be around a four, around a 440 in the triple Q's. Now Apple could actually have a more aggressive drop like this, how we did last time when I was telling that, hey, this is probably going to reject at the top of the channel, and we did. So be very careful if it does break. Definitely pay attention to the, around the 200 right here. Um, I said this last time. People didn't listen, but if we do drop to the 200, this is going to be a strong support right here, especially bouncing right here. This has already given you a warning. So if Apple does have a really hard drop, definitely 200. Um, for some reason, if we do make it to 172, that's going to be your main support. Um, we are we are just fighting at resistance on a lot of these stocks. So just be very careful. Um, that's one thing that you need to comprehend. Index is moving up. Doesn't mean the market's moving up. It's the mega seven. So. Just throwing that out there. Um, Microsoft, uh, let's talk about Microsoft too because Microsoft is actually rejecting off of the top yet. No, it actually, well, it's, it's starting. Um, let's actually pull this up too so you know the percentage because you need to learn the percentage of the market. Definitely in every stock. So Microsoft is 8.7%. Um, it is at the top of the channel also. So pay attention to that. So if you actually have Microsoft, Apple, Tesla, all the indexes, all of them, the 10 year yield on support, DXY on support. Um, if they start to drop and actually do reject, it's gonna just start dropping. So just throwing that out there. Um, if we do break this 20 moving average, um, it's probably going to be a more aggressive drop. Don't pay attention to the triple Q's price range. Um, Microsoft is a little bit different. 
Um, but if we actually do drop in the triple Qs, definitely pay attention to oh, around a 450 in the triple Qs um, if we do drop to Microsoft main support. So this one right here, um, around 403. If we do break 403, definitely pay attention to 481. Again, like how Apple, how Apple did, this is gonna be your main support right here, pretty much. There's a lot of buyers right here just waiting. So if we do reject from this top, pay attention to these levels right here, especially your 20 and 50 moving average. That is probably gonna be more key than anything on this. Um, just remember also, a lot of the 15 and 20 weeks are crossing. So just throwing that out there also. Um, Google is at the top of the channel again. So just be very careful. If Microsoft and all of them reject, this is definitely gonna break that 20 moving average and you will probably see the lower levels of Google probably tapping around 150 again. Um, if this does reject, definitely pay attention to the triple Qs. Let's actually squeeze it a little bit more. Um, if the triple Qs does reject, pay attention to around 150 on Google. That's probably gonna be your main area of support. Um, you can kind of see that in around this area right here. Uh, that's gonna be a really strong support. So going across, especially right here, right here, a lot of buyers are gonna be at 150 on Google. And then also on NVDA because NVDA is 7.8% and then at the top of the channel. So be very careful guys. There's a lot of things at the top of the channel right now. So if this does reject, pay attention to around 116 on, um, on NVDA. Um, if that does make it past that, then you are probably gonna look at the lower levels. I would probably honestly look around 97 because that's around a 150 in the triple Qs. So if we actually do drop on the 150 or 140, 150, or around 455 in the triple Qs, say we just have a nice drop, you are gonna look at a 97 on NVDA and that's gonna be your main support. But join the Discord. I'm gonna have a crazy weekend and like I said, at the end of every video, don't drink and drive.